With respect to Miss May Thomas, um, in her debriefing in, after difficulties with the U.S. Uh, law enforcement and immigration, what did she tell you she was uh, interrogated about? Well, she said they asked her about the Mohammed. I know, in case, and before I begin, Mr. Conway, that when the authorities are dealing with issues like this, you don't start at the top and come down. You just start at the bottom and you work your way up. So if that is the scenario here where you're starting from the bottom and the Mohammeds are somewhere at the bottom, you can imagine who are the ones above uh, Mohammed. And we also indicated by when we would need this information because there is a statute of limitation in Guyana too for some, some issues, particularly some types of crime. And so the GRA said by we need this information before the 31st of December of this year because sometimes we know how long these agencies take to respond. What the saying by, by two, about Tucson Junior Thomas. As for Tucson Junior Thomas, a A F A C O F A C designated her as being a foreign person who is a current or former government official or a person acting for or on behalf of such official who is responsible for or complicit in or has directly or indirectly engaged in corruption including the misappropriation of state assets the expropriation of private assets for personal gain corruption related to government contracts or the extra extraction of natural resources or bribery in order to facilitate our own investigation of the matters raised therein and related thereto we would be grateful if relevant information and documentation could be shared with us on the officials and transactions involved so we want to know who the officials are the government officials we have asked the u.s Government at the top level. Other people even may, may, may even be bigger than Mohammed. Remember that they, they talk about a, a, a Brazilian connection. I think writers reported a Brazilian co co connection and as well as a Venezuelan connection where they're mixing the Brazilian gold and the Venezuelan gold with Ghanaian gold and then and, and exporting it, you know. So it, 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 it's bigger than that. And, and I'll be surprised if very shortly others, others. We will, we, will, we will be made known. And the president indicated that we have not been formally notified. So there are many people in this country who were dealing with the Mohammeds because at that time they were not sanctioned. There was no pending um, investigation of that nature for smuggle um, goal against them here. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. With respect to Miss May Thomas, um, in her debriefing in, after difficulties with the U.S. Uh, law enforcement and immigration, what did she tell you she was uh, interrogated about? Well, she said they asked her about the Mohammeds. And did that flag anything in your head? Yeah, but they asked, but it was precisely because of that that she moved from the Ministry of uh, Home Affairs to Labor. And we didn't, at that time, there was no notification about any investigation you yourself said you asked me a question at the beginning the government had not been formally notified that there was the that in a no investigation nor that they would impose sanctions on the Mohammeds. i said we said that openly and the president indicated that we have not been formally notified so there are many people in this country who were dealing with the Mohammeds because at that time they were not sanctioned. There was no pending 
um, investigation of that nature of a smuggle um, goal against them here. So they, what did they ask her about the Mohammed? Uh, no, we, I, di I, don't, I didn't go into details. I'm not, I, I didn't go into details. Uh, and and that did not flag anything in yes, your well, head? Yes, bec because of that, that is why she was moved from the Ministry of Home Affairs. But she said that clearly. That we asked her what, 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 in fact, the report that came, that I saw, he said they asked her about the Mohammed. This, he mentioned the press release that was issued because that's all we had to go by. The press release too, like everyone else. The said press release refers to entirely falsification of import and export documents, evasion of taxes, and bribery of customs and government officials to facilitate illicit gold shipments and award of government contracts. In order to facilitate our own investigation of the matters raised therein and related thereto, we would be grateful if relevant information and documentation could be shared with us on the officials and transactions involved. So we want to know who the officials are, the government officials. We have asked the U.S. government at the top level, the Secretary of the Treasury of the United States of America. We wrote directly to her asking for all of the information about these illegal transactions, the smuggling, as well as the gov all the government officials involved. In this regard, the Guyana Revenue Authority has already submitted on that very day. So this letter went off on Tuesday from the Minister of Finance to the Secretary of the Treasury of the U.S. And simultaneously, a letter went from GRA to the IRS, to the leadership of the IRS, a multi-page letter outlining all of the information that we want, we'd like to have on bank accounts, transactions, a whole range of issues dating back not just to 2020, but all the way to 2015. And so, and we also indicated by when we would need this information because there is a statute of limitation in Guyana too for some, some issues, particularly some types of crime. And so the GRA said by, we need this information before the 31st of December of this year, because sometimes we know how long these agencies take to respond to requests from third countries. So the IRS has been written to by the GRA, Mr. Stacia, and um, the Secretary of the Treasury of the US has to, been written to by the Minister of Finance. By the way, Mr. Stacia, who was at GRA throughout in the 2015 to 2020 period too. He was there and now he's still there as head of GRA. We asked whether he had received from the US government any specific information about gold smuggling and names of people involved. The answer was no. He's never received that too there. He did not get that report. So I, I just want to con um, continue in this regard. The Guyana Revenue Authority has already submitted the attached request for information to the Internal Revenue Service in accordance with the tax information exchange agreement between our two countries. Any additional relevant details beyond the scope of the said request would also be much appreciated. So we now have taken the step that we want to see the information about any government official who may be corrupt, regardless of which agencies they're in, and we would like to get the information about the goal. Because if this goal has been entering since 2019 and declared here in the United States of America, and it's about 11 about 10,000 kilograms, they said, was this seized 
And if it was seized, why were we not notified in the last five years when they were seizing this? Or is this information that they got from third parties? We'd like to find out more so we can reconcile this. Now, since last year, we've asked the invest, our team here, led by the PS of Natural Resources, Mr. McKenzie and Ms. Thompson from the Gold Board, to look at UN com data, the, the tr com trade data. So we see some discrepancies there and they produce a report, but we can't use the UN report because they have maybe some gaps there. We are going directly to the United States. We would like to get information as to how this goal, whether it was seized in the US, um, what information they have on it, to whom it was sold, who carried it out, all of this information we'd like to get so we can then move to take action here. First of all, to recover the taxes lost because it's estimated at around 50 million US dollars so we can take action to recover the taxes and then we can take action to prosecute people if they bring and clearly there was a demand for the goal, um, not for other purposes. We believe to externalize um, maybe ill-gotten proceeds. So at that time, I said to you that we, we, the government had ordered a full investigation into this matter. We believe now that we are starting to, or we have enough evidence about some of the people who are involved. And you're going to see additional activities against them. And so I'm saying this to them again, because do not, they, you're going to, if you're doing this, desist from doing it because the full force of the law would be instituted against you. And I would even advocate that we amend the law to institute even more severe penalties on people who have done this. One love, Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight. Now you heard it from the VP himself. Allegedly, the man in charge May resigned in June. May resigned in June because of the sanctions that are about to come down on a lot of the officials, the high-ranking officials allegedly, in the Guyanese government. Allegedly. Allegedly. Now, this is not a good look because this is an election year and she held high rank in the party she held high rank i think is almost in the top 10 probably yeah if i'm not mistaken i think she's in the top 10 ranked in the party from the last congress so this has far-reaching implications and the VP is saying that, you know, it's hard to watch her go, but the government must sever all ties with the sanctioned regime, meaning that this has far reaching implications. So, anybody else who go up on the sanction list, Anybody else who name fall on the sanction list more than likely is going to have to go the same route. So now, Guyana is in a place where it's chess moves and not checkers. Chess and not checkers because this thing got global implications. Because if a person got certain things that they're looking for, 
sweep under the rug allegedly if a person has certain things that they're looking for make sure don't get out or if they want to make sure that they don't end up on that sanction list there we can really go on buddy what are you going to go for sign off allegedly what are you going to go for allow allegedly for happening in the country as far as the wealth the newfound wealth in the nation allegedly what is really going on here Guyana are you seeing the stick up can you see the stick up allegedly I don't know if you can see it I don't want to call it out all the way but I'm saying that if you take a look it's chess not checkers being played with Guyana and if we the persons that born there the persons that are of age the right thinking citizens the right thinking younger persons older persons who have a vested interest in that place don't make sure that we stay updated with everything that's going on as it relates to this in the future then guess what we have only ourselves to blame because this have far reaching implications just moments after she was sanctioned may retired in june and the top cop is about to expose the far reaching global implications for us now he's going to show us the global implications to this all the entanglements all the entanglements that could make Guyana that could place Guyana allegedly in a situation that can take us <laughs> generations to crawl out of and we have a perfect example right now of what could happen allegedly with Guyana if it really fell on the sanctions just look around at the countries that would have fallen on the sanctions just not too far away from Guyana countries like Venezuela countries like Cuba who have to travel all the way from their country just to use the embassy in ours and we're not going to talk about the number the number of persons who would have made Guyana their home now that would have once been citizens or resided in Venezuela understanding this Guyana are you not going to stay updated with everything that's going on in in Guyana are you not going to stay updated with everything that's going on with this story thumbs up this video make sure that everybody everybody in Guyana and the diaspora could stay updated with everything that's going on with this story one love and i'll catch you in the next flight but, uh, or they go to the minister uh, or, they go, or any other authority at the ministry of affairs and ask for some help people are not going to be interested the u.s and interested in that so when they talk about passport my reading is that guyanese passport are given to people of shady shady character people with shady character and and, and let me let me take you back you know let me take you back. I am a memory warrior, you know. It was back in 2006 in the lead up to Cricket World Cup. I will never forget. I was in Trinidad and Tobago at a security meeting with um, Clement Roy when the news broke that one of the most wanted terrorists in the world, the US had declared, what was the man named Sukra Juma? Sukra Juma, one of the most wanted terrorists in the world. He was facilitated with a Guyanese passport. I will never forget that because he talked to me, that is Roy, and um, we had a discussion about that matter in Trinidad, in Porto, Spain, where we were attending a meeting. So when they talk about passport, they're not talking about somebody who is a legitimate Guyanese going to get um, asked some assistance for the thing to be expedited. They are talking, I think, about passport being given to people who are a threat to the u.s security that is what i interpret that to mean right 
they have passport the people we can't remember they have a close relationship with people in the middle east and some countries that are deemed to be um, anti-us so y'all gotta understand let me read into this thing properly read into it properly this is a as, as we said yesterday and i'm saying it again this is massive this is massive and i'm saying that the sanctions against the three and their businesses right it's the tip of the iceberg and i i know in case and before i begin mr conway that when the authorities are dealing with issues like this you don't start at the top and come down you just start at the bottom and you work your way up so if that is the scenario here where you're starting from the bottom and the Mohammeds are somewhere at the bottom you can imagine who are the ones above um Muhammad. let me pause now and bring in mr conway and hear what he has to say let me hear some words of wisdom cc words of wisdom my brother all right let me just st still stay on on this tabric news report and here's what they're saying by by two about tucson junior thomas as for tucson junior thomas a a f a c o f a c designated her as being a foreign person who is a current or former government official or a person acting for or on behalf of such official who is responsible for or complicit in or has directly or indirectly engaged in corruption including the misappropriation of state assets the expropriation of private assets for personal gain corruption related to government contracts or the ext extraction of natural resources or bribery this is the damaging thing and then they they request her to to to, to go 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 and leave and not only that too gold smuggling is not only the mom is alone there other people even be maybe even be bigger than Mohammed. Remember that they, they talk about a, a, a Brazilian connection. I think writers reported a Brazilian co co connection and as well as a Venezuelan connection where they mix in the Brazilian gold and the Venezuelan gold with Ghanaian gold and then and, and exporting it, you know. So it is it, 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 bigger than that. And, and I will be surprised if very shortly others, others. We will, 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 will be made known. Yeah, I see one of the studios. Winston, yes, I listened this morning. I listened this morning and I decided um, there are other things that I need to expand on. Yes, I listened. And let me say to, to pick up from where um, CC just left off, we talk about this Brazilian um, issue. It was Tabrook News of July the 12th, 2023. And they reported Brazilian probe fingers local businessman in gold smuggling and money laundering. Here it is, July last year, Brazilian probe fingers local businessman in gold smuggling and money laundering. And I, my information, my information is not the same people who are now sanctioned. Others are involved in the business and others are less to be bigger in the business than these. And therefore, before, before I read the um, article or excerpts from the article, the question, therefore, if others are involved and are bigger, why did you go for these? Why did you go for these? Because as, uh, as far as I'm aware, the others, though they are involved and though they are bigger, they don't have the same type of connections, political and other connections, like the mom. Clear? Had some issues they, they, they're working you know but we, as i said we gotta stay with it we are not going to give up i when we were interrupted i was telling you that um the the, the brazilian link and the fact that they are reports that they are bigger smugglers of gold um out of the country and therefore if you have people who bigger the question is why did they go after these and um, I made the point that while the others might be bigger, I don't think they have the same type of political connection. So maybe it has to do with the political connection. And if we are saying that these are the lower rungs of this corrupt ladder that they are talking about, 
then one can then imagine who are the ones who are in the middle and I are I up, right? Uh, the I up. And again, the people saying is that we saying they talk about uh, government officials, and I'm sure the government officials include law enforcement officials. And let me remind you when we talk about law enforcement officials in Guyana, we're talking about um, people in the police force, including the um, Kanu. We're talking about the Customs Anti Narcotic Unit. Um, people talk about GRA. Those things are mentioned. And the, pres the, vice the president wants to tell us that they, um, they're they going to request from the U.S. information so that they can investigate uh, locally. They got all the information they want from Vice News, and they never raise a thumb, raise a finger to investigate the vice president when allegations were made that he is uh, involved in corrupt practices. And again, let me emphasize, the U.S. are aware the authorities would know about what the Sugate is all about. They would have done their own independent investigation to know what Sugate is all about. So let me understand. I, I was telling you too about the passport issue. The U.S., it is my belief that the U.S. are not going to be interested if somebody take a blind to facilitate a um, expedited passport. No, no, no. I don't believe that. They're not um, at that level. Where somebody goes and says, I'll take a 100 U.S. or take us some money, I want my passport by tomorrow, a legitimate guy needs to get it. So when they talk about the PS being involved in passport, it has to be something bigger than that. And I told you before we got cut off about the one of the most wanted terrorists in the world, the U.S. had designated Sukajuma, Anan al Sukajuma or something like that he named. And he was traveling on a guy a passport. In the, the, this is when... I think they named him around 2006. I remember well, it was a build-up to Cricket World Cup 2007. I was part of the security directory then, when that word um, came out. Guyana Passport, one of the most noted terrorists traveling on. And therefore, the people are aware of these things. Arms, they talk about the, the weapons. But when they talk about weapons, I'm sure they are referring to arms, small arms, um, small arms, and here, let me tell you, when we talk about small arms, I know I know about guns. When we talk about small arms, small arms are not revolvers and pistols and handguns. In the lexicon of, of, um, of firearms, small arms are bigger. So submachine gun, machine gun, all of those things are categorized as small arms. So I'm saying that if they're involved, they say arms, they say weapons, they say weapons, and I'm saying that this weapon got to be arms. And it is no secret. Look around, go by the same um, in, in Lambert Street there, you're going to see all of those uh, modern assault rifles. Right there, Sean? G uh, general purpose machine guns and all of those things are referred to as small arms. Unfortunately, the persons who don't know, when they hear about small arms, then they think about pistols and revolvers. No, 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 no. no. I have a book which I promise to give to some worthy, present as a prize to some worthy um, person. Small arms of the world, things like grenade launchers, things like bazookas, all of those things are referred to as small arms, like machine guns, um, GPMG, which is general purpose machine, all of those things. So we don't know what is being facilitated. We don't know, but the U.S. know. The U.S. know. And then they made a very interesting um point here. And now before I go to that, I'm jumping around. God, this thing distract me a bit. But let me tell you about a Brazilian probe. Brazilian probe fingers local businessman in gold smuggling money laundering. Brazil is conducting an investigation involving a Guyanese businessman. A Guyanese businessman who is said to be part of a smuggling ring where some 80 million there's um, uh, rural, rural or what they call it, Brazilian money which is equivalent to 16.4 million U.S. of illegally mined gold was laundered through shell companies in the food and medical supply industries. Several days ago, the Ministry of Justice and Public Security of Brazil reported to its federal police that an investigation dubbed Operation uh, Van Gloria had been launched that would get to the origin and sale of illegal gold. And they go on to tell you the story. But they say Guyanese businessman, 
a Guyanese businessman is involved. And they say when when and they say when Starbuck News contacted the Special Organized Crime Unit in Guyana, the unit through its head senior superintendent Fazal Karimbash said they were they were unaware of this matter. They were unaware. Saying the Brazil Brazilian, your neighbor, did not tell them about this big operation they were conducted. Starbuck News also reached out to the Ministry of Home Affairs. Ministry of Natural Resources and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And thus far, no official response has been given. No official response. In this release too, from the um, the, the, the US, they talk about people arming, uh, I think they mentioned the word militia. People arming uh, militia, security companies. I think that's what they refer to as militia. And look around, we know what we're talking about. Look around. They talk about money laundering. They talk about money laundering. And here, let me tell you, let me tell you what is the definition for money laundering. And 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 and, and before I bring in um, CC, that's a money laundering involves disguising financial assets so they can be used without the de uh, without detection or the illegal activity that produces them. Through money laundering, the criminal transforms the monetary proceeds derived from criminal activity into funds which are which with an apparently legal source money laundering the cover you talk about gold smuggling it is part of the money laundering process you get so cool wonder what they're doing with money laundering they get right in the police force a senior officer is alleged to have attempted to launder 16.5 million Guyana dollars and why 16.5 may not may not seem big to the um people abroad in Guyana, there's big money. A police officer, we get that from money laundering. Police officers are alleged, current police officers, senior officers, are alleged to be uh, building several houses all over the place. Where are they getting the money from? There's no integrity testing to test how is it that an officer, senior officer in the Guyana police force, can be attempting to deposit into the police credit union, a financial institution, $16.5 million, two black paper bag, is part of the money laundering process because the money may have been illegally acquired. And you can't go and put it in a bank. If you went and you put $16.5 million in a bank, the financial um, institution, the financial investigative unit will be notified. You make one big deposit, they're going to be notified and they're going to question the source of your income. When you're going to put deposit that money to, you might have to tell them the source of the income. So what they do? They then, using their authority and their influence in the force, police as a financial institution known as a police credit union. So you deposit the money in the police credit union and then you're going to take a loan. You're going to take a loan. Money laundering. So when you go now and you put it for the bank, you're going to say, well, it's a loan I get from the police credit union. You clean it up. That is what is going on. Do you think the United States authorities are not aware of that? I am waiting for, I am waiting for the for the ammo to drop. I am waiting for the ammo to drop. It is money laundering. This part of this gold smuggling is a big thing. And before I bring in CC, let me say this. 50 million US dollars over a period of time is alleged to have been, uh, well, they deprived the government coffers of 50 million US dollars during this process, 10 billion Guyana dollars. And yet still, you want to hear the, the president and the vice president tell you that the budget doesn't have the fiscal space to pay teachers a little bit more money. Money that they well deserve. They don't get fiscal space. Well, you can't get fiscal space if you're facilitating them type of criminal activities and all the, well, a big portion of the resource being um, channeled to these people through illegal uh, activities. And these are the same people. You gotta understand how this money laundering thing works, you know. Because when they get all them big, big money, remember they get other activities, quarry, quarry, and they're involved in other activities as well. So they're gonna say the proceeds, the proceeds are from the quarry. So if we decide to deposit two million US dollars in a bank, th these are proceeds from the quarry and so on. And unfortunately, as someone said last said on Bench Cap Radio, the institutions in Guyana are weak. So they're not going to um, be able to investigate these things properly. And where they are not weak, you have many corrupt officials, many corrupt persons. And let me say this right off the bat. 
take it, I have said it repeatedly. In all of these organizations, whether it's GRA, the Ghana Revenue Authority, the Ghana Police Force, the Custom, um, the, the, the Kanu and all of those places, they have honest people involved. There are, are people there who are dedicated and honest people. But the system, when you have one or two honest people and the system is corrupt, it is difficult for them to remain um, above the fray. The Diana Police Force cannot confirm or deny that head of the Major Crimes Unit of the Diana Police Force, Superintendent Mitchell Caesar, was detained for more than seven hours by FBI agents at the John F. Kennedy International Airport. However, United States sources have told Nightly News that the senior policeman was detained twice by FBI agents on Tuesday last. It is unclear at this point why Mr. Caesar was detained and what specifically he was questioned about. Caesar, who is currently in the United States of America, was among several police officers officers who had traveled to India on fully paid scholarships to receive training in forensic interviews. Most recently, Mr. Caesar had denied allegations that he was involved in attempts to cover up and interfere in the murder investigation of biker Ricardo Fagundes. She's ready. Stay ready. Mr. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. My experience now with the Mohammeds and what everybody's seeing in the world, um, I can't say they could dispute that if it is Paper Shards' voice. You understand? Like I'm looking at it. Like what is possible me if the older Mohammed can get fucking smelly smell for put something on me. I'm like, them is them kind of people. 